cloud or somewhere to post. Blazy Susan got dark, grab a loud, we be like holla, holla. Only the best marijuana, always roll up by the pair. Donna, inhaling till I can't breathe. Different assortments of cannabis, I be way up in the can. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Bit Marley, and this is Certified Piehead. Smoking on one of my nighttime splits. Tonight, we jumping back into these cannabis conspiracy theories. Cannabis conspiracy theories. This one involves the king of rock, Elvis. So, let's begin with a question. You've probably never asked yourself. Did Elvis Presley fake his death in 1977 so he could live out his golden years cultivating marijuana on a secret island? Yes, this is the theory that exists. It is out there. Floating around in the vast ocean of bizarre conspiracy ideas. Right next to the Bigfoot is the missing link. And the moon landing was staged in a Walmart parking lot. It's a far out theory. But we're gonna um kick it around and see and see and see uh what we what we there may be some plausibilities in this whole entire thing. What if by some mind but then twist of fate is true? What if the King of Rock didn't die but simply swapped out his glittering jumpsuit for gardening gloves? And most importantly, why are we talking about this? Why why are you listening to me do this? Well, life's mysteries I suppose. But here's a riddle. I saw without wings I see without eyes. I've traveled the universe, yet remain in place. What am I? Let's start with the most obvious question. Did Elvis really fake his death? On the one hand, faking your own death isn't easy. It involves elaborate planning, body doubles, and possibly bribing a few coroners. None of which seem like hobbies Elvis would have had time for between crooning about heartbreak and practicing his karate moves. But on the other hand, we're talking about a man who could, who built a mansion with rooms dedicated solely to his jumpsuits clearly he had a taste for the bizarre it would be more bizarre to pull it off the ultimate exit i mean faking your death basically like a celebrity's version of ghosting someone on tinder especially with fewer awkward texts involved than one more funeral expense but the theory persists that elvis wasn't just done with the fame he was done with all of us so he decided to vanish in the thin air even behind a legacy of sideburns and sequins and reappearing on a secluded island to live out his days in peace and growing weed at this point you might be asking how much weed did he smoke today i don't know exactly i don't know but here's a riddle that you might know the answer to i can glide through the air without ever flapping in a hunt for food with my keen eyes trapping. Who am I? Let's suspend the disbelief for a second. Right? We've come this far. Let's dis- let's suspend disbelief and assume Elvis is alive and thriving in a secret paradise. Why would he be growing cannabis? After all, he could be doing anything. Yeah, he'd be doing any number of less illicit yet equally niche retirement hobbies. Golfing, stamp collecting. Could have opened a bed and breakfast where that's where he displayed his jumpsuits. Gave everybody a mandatory peanut butter and banana sandwich but according to this theory right elvis decided to become a secret grower of the world's most elusive marijuana strains and honestly isn't just the natural progression of rock stardom you become a major big musician and then you transfer into something else why not go from music to cannabis it's kind of like the same career trajectory you've seen it play out a bunch of times people become famous musicians get into like sneakers clothes restaurants and we've seen some musicians even open up cannabis put your elvis now right straw hat dirty jeans maybe humming burning love while traveling trimming a bud leaf or something let's face it elvis the farmer is the only logical conclusion to elvis the king nothing says retirement like sitting back on a ranch growing something named after your greatest hints like blue suede kush here's a riddle for you though i am colorful i cannot see my feathers are bright like the blooms on a tree. Who am I? So let's be real here. If Elvis is secretly growing the finest wheat in the world, who's smoking it? Naturally, the theory suggests that only the elite of the elite, musicians, actors, the guy from the one movie you liked, would have access to this cannabis. And let's be honest, it sounds plausible enough in a weird way that celebrity rumors always do. Imagine it though. Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Willie Nelson, Snoop. They all look like people who could be casually puffing on some of the jailhouse rock scamma before hopping on stage, right? Wouldn't that be the ultimate status symbol? Forget luxury cars and exclusive watches and blinged out necklaces. 
if you really somebody, you be smoking on some Elvis grown weed. Maybe, just maybe. That's the real reason that nobody's talking about it. It might be too good to share with everybody. But how would they even contact them? Is it like a secret code or something? A series of encrypted texts. Do you have to leave a peanut butter jelly sandwich on top of a cactus somewhere in the desert and hope for the best? Honestly, if I knew how this worked, I wouldn't even be telling y'all that it exists, bruh. I mean, you already know. Here's another riddle for you. I can't fly, but I have feathers. I'm known for running, and I'm one of the fastest creatures on land. Who am I? This theory raises one question, right? Why hasn't anyone come forward? Surely somebody got a picture of Elvis pruning a marijuana plant or buying stuff in a hydroponic shop or something. Yet we haven't heard anything. We've seen a picture of nothing. Maybe the people who know about Elvis's cannabis empire are just really good at keeping secrets. Or maybe, here's the real kicker, no one wants to ruin it. Think about it, right? If you're one of the few people with access to Elvis grown weed, would you go public? Or would you just sit back and just happily smoke your stash to yourself? Laughing at the rest of the world as they get Mike Tyson weed. Uh, maybe the real conspiracy isn't whether Elvis is alive, but whether those who know are willing to admit it. It's the greatest inside joke, right? And the punchline isn't that we'll probably never get to smoke none of Elvis's shiny suit sativa at the end of the day does it matter if elvis is alive living on an island and growing weed for celebrities probably not after all we've survived for decades without knowing the truth and life has gone on pretty much the same but every now and then you hear a faint tune to, from elvis in the background of a smell of some particularly smelly dank coming from a volkswagen beetle and maybe just maybe you're wondering if them people are smoking on some of the crop that Elvis is growing in the background. And if that is the case, more power to Elvis. Hope you can relax or where to place peanut butter and banana sandwiches so that you can get some of this dank. Please let me know. The answers to the riddles. A starling, a hawk, a peacock, an ostrich. I got a neighbor that always riding a bike. I have to see if he's um, Elvis. I'll see y'all in the next